Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your publication, make sure that you have it properly set up using the Page Setup dialog box. To access the Page Setup dialog box, click the dialog box launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group that appears on the Page Design tab within the ribbon. You will also want to check the way that your publication will print without having to waste paper by printing several copies. Publisher provides a view of your publication called Print Preview to assist you with this. In Print Preview, you can see how your publication will actually print on paper according to the specifications that you've set within the Page Setup dialog box. To view your publication in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Print command. To the right in the Backstage view, you will see the various printing options. To the right of those options, you will see the actual print preview of your publication. There are three buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view at this point. You can click and drag the slider icon shown in the zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the print preview page display. You can also click into the publication with your mouse to zoom in and out or click the fit to sheet button to display the entire page. You can click the view multiple sheets button to display a pop-up grid. Click into the grid to select the number of pages to display within the print preview at the same time. If you are printing multiple pages, you can click the small left and right pointing arrows that appear at the bottom of the print preview view to scroll through the pages that you would like to print. You can also click directly into the number box and enter the number of the page that you would like to display in the print preview view to show it on screen. After you have previewed your publication, you will then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the Backstage view. In the Print section, enter the number of copies you would like to print into the Copies of Print Job Spinner box, or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the Printer section, use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the publication. In the Settings section, use the first drop-down to select what you want to print within your publication. Select either Print All Pages, Print Selection, Print Current Page, or Custom Print. Also note that you can enter the number of pages to print into the Pages text box if you select the Custom Print choice. Page ranges can be sequential, meaning 1-10, for example, to print pages 1-10, through 10, or they can be non-sequential, 1-5-10, which would print pages 1, 5, and 10, or they can be a combination of both. So you could enter 1-5,10 to print pages 1 through 5 and then page 10. You would separate sequential page ranges with the hyphen and you separate non-sequential pages with the comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon that appears to the right of this text box, you can see examples of how you can enter custom page range references. You then use the next drop-down to choose how to print multiple publication pages. Choose one of the choices from this drop-down. For any option other than one page per sheet, you will need to specify additional settings from the drop-down or Layout Options button that appears below that. The next drop-down allows you to set the page orientation and paper size for your publication. Below that, use the next drop-down to select whether to print one or two-sided pages. For two-sided manual printing, the selection you make also informs how you should flip the sheets to print the second side. When printing multiple pages, use the next drop-down that then appears to choose your collating options. The last drop-down allows you to print either a composite RGB or grayscale publication. You can check the Save Settings with Publication checkbox to save these print settings along with the publication data so that you won't need to change them in the future. When you are done choosing your printing settings, click the large Print button at the top of the view to print your publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.